Hi guys, Nana Figure Review, this is the last review of it today. I'm doing my Bandai D Arts Persona 4 The Ultimate in Makonaki Arena, also known as Persona 4 Arena, the English version. So, yes, yeah, so this is the Japanese uh, name, we'll say, and it's Elizabeth from uh, Persona uh, 4 Arena and Persona 3. The game. Um, I haven't played Persona 3, unfortunately. Um, I, I, I will get the time to get to. I've just been busy with stuff and so yeah, but I will play that game ASAP. So yeah, um, I finally got this figure. I uh, bought this from Ami Ami. Um, I was gonna get it from uh, Hobby Link Chabang, uh, but they were screwing around my order. I'm like, fuck that. So I'm like, okay, we buy from Ami Ami, and I I ordered this from. Like two, three weeks ago, I was gonna pre order it, but um, from them, but they were sold out, so that's why I ordered from uh, Hompy Link Japan. And you know, they were the only ones who had it in stock, but the pre order, and uh, yeah, but when the figure came out, um, uh, they, they sold that. I'm like, where do, where do I buy the, buy the figure now? So, luckily enough, um, Ami Ami had bought some more in stock. I'm like, okay, they got the, they released the figure, I bought it for them, and uh, there's plenty more if you want to buy it or you can get it from bigbadtoystore.com and and i think some ink station got some still as well so yeah so enough dribble blabbing and uh let's actually talk about the box so the box art looks cool really nice really cool uh says elizabeth really nice nice artwork over here More over here, more over here, and uh, so nice artwork. And uh, this is this is a small box, obviously. You know, she's a small character, but I'm kind of surprised. Um, you know, when they announced the figure they were going to release this week, I'm like, oh, okay. So yeah, this this is a fully figure from the Persona series, and uh, you know. And the only reason I got this figure because um, I, I, I like the um, Persona for Arena and Elizabeth is kind of an interesting character, that's why I bought it and uh, for it. Yeah, you may get it then. And people are going crazy uh, getting this figure, so I thought, what the hell, you may get it. So, yeah, so we're going to take a little break, guys. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Hi, guys, I'm back now. I have to be pretty quick because my battery is running uh, battery, so I have to be pretty quick. So yeah, finally took out the packaging and uh, it looks really nice. Really small figure. Um, I expected a bit more bigger, but um, but it looks nice. Um, she's like that in she's like this in the game, of course. So so Diaz did a good job on it, and uh, you know they keep him true to the character. And uh, yeah, and the paint application is really cool. Uh, she wears this blue and navy blue, so really uh, intriguing character. And also she's not human, so she looks human, but she's not really. And she was created by Igor, I forgot his name. Well, he's one of the allies of Persona and uh, Persona 4 as well. So yeah, so yeah, enough of that. And uh, Eliz uh, Elizabeth is originally from Persona 3 and uh, she helps the main protagonist of the game. So uh so yeah, but and she's in Persona 4 Arena. That's a fighting game. Persona 3 is a RPG game, so yeah. Um, so I know my shit. I know my history. Um, so yeah, it's a cool looking figure. Paint application is really nice. And like I said, blue and navy blue. And she's, she's got this nice dotted uh, thing on the on her dress. So it's got nice design work on that. It's really cool. Um, she's got these blue gloves as well. So. She's very stylish, this lady. And, uh, we'll see. And she's got nice blue, it's like navy and a bit of blue. It's really nice. See, she's very intriguing, Ruin. And, uh, we'll see. And she might look uh, bad with her yellow eyes, but she's not. She's, you know, she's an ally. And, uh, you know, she's good. And the head scar's really nice as well. Really cool. And she wears this small hat as well, it's really cool, really nice figure. Paint application looks amazing. So yeah, 
Okay, um, let's talk about articulation. I've got to be pretty quick, guys. Um, articulation arms, articulation, and 360 motion. Got some little bit vice articulation, hand articulation, 360. This week is really small. Um, torso articulation, just a little bit. Oh, we got quite a bit, but obviously, a dress takes most of the of the figure. Head articulation, the 360 motion. Up and down, so that's really nice. Leg ticket articulates about that much of angle, 90 degree. Uh, that's the further it can go. Foot articulates, um, no anchor pivot, unfortunately. Oh, it does, oh, just a little bit. Uh, so, yeah, that's how you're gonna get out of this figure, and uh, yeah, so that's really cool. And uh, Oh, let me just, let me just. And she stands alone. Wow, this figure is short. Around five inches. Five. Let's say five point. Trying to read this properly. Yeah, five point four, five point five. So yeah, so really nice figure. And let's talk. Let's talk about accessories. Let's put Elizabeth over here for the minute. And uh, let's talk about her chair. She's got this nice blue chair as well. You can pose her with the chair, but you have to um, disassemble her. And you can put her on the chair like that. But I don't have time for that now. So uh, it tells you in the instructions as well. Let me just show you quickly. You know, you can change off, disconnect her torso, and uh, put her on the, in that position. And uh, you could change her face plate. You could put the book on the hand, so that's really cool. And yeah, it's really nicely detailed. It's all blue and stuff. And the uh, the brown leg, of the chair is really nicely detailed. I like it a lot, man. I would definitely be posing on the on the chair. And this is our torso part. Once you disassemble it on the chair, so this is our torso bit. Uh, obviously you have to take off, of course, it's all plastic obviously, uh, so yeah, that's really cool. And she's got uh, other accessories as well, um, she's got the clothes book as well, it's nicely detailed, and it says Lee Gamarari de Kukor, I can't pronounce it, but it's got a nice, uh, it's got this hole in it, so you can plug it on the hand. Even uh, this, this other one that the, when the book is open, she can read her magical spells on it, so she can you know use it to her advantage. You know she can attack her opponents in the game for some for arena, and uh, yeah, and she's got two changeable face plates. Once that's mysterious looking, and once she's like uh, face looking, so. So yeah, so that's pretty cool. And she's got four swappable hands. They're really small. She's got one small hand over here. And it's got a peg also, you can plug that in. And also it's blue hands, she's like, she likes wearing blue gloves. There's something she loves about blue. More over here. Another one. And this is her last one. So that's pretty cool. And she's got a card, a persona card. It's really tight, but I can tell you um it's got a score in it. It says number 13 on it, so it's really tiny, so and that's the persona face. I don't know if I'm gonna pick this up, but we you get the point though, but if you do get this figure, so you you do know that I'm not you know. I don't know if my camera's gonna pick up. Come on. I think that's it I'm gonna do. Yeah. But yeah, it's a cool looking figure guys. Um nothing wrong with it. Obviously there's no call to control, thank god. Um cool looking figure. I do I hope you do get this figure. Um, you know, Bandai Diaz are 
A good company, but they let me down with the Venusaur figure. Unfortunately, that's, that figure wasn't great to me. Tours to me, it's just like a failure. But this figure is, is beautiful, really small. Uh, I probably pay like uh, like twenty, thirty pounds for this figure. It's kind of pricey, I know, but um, but nicely detailed. You know, um, the, the paint application on this figure. You know, and uh, yeah, but she's got silver hair. Forgot about that, and she's uh, you know Japanese. You know, Caucasian, we could say. But she she looks Japanese, I know. So, but she's Caucasian, yeah. So she's not Japanese, but she, she was created by Japanese people. So yeah, well yeah. So yeah, I'm really happy I got it. Um, definitely be posing her in a chair, and uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Peace. More to come. I do. I hope you do get this figure. Uh, they still have plenty in stock. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace. I'm out of here.